Well, there you are, everybody. Welcome. My name is Bud, and this is another day in the Lifelong Vlog Blog Challenge. Um, thank you. I appreciate your being here. Uh, my purpose is, of course, to hopefully impart something on to you that will not only benefit you and yours, but uh, you know, your neighbors and friends and your local community, wherever that may be, and, uh, and beyond, because really, uh, this is a... Um, you know, we don't live isolated. Uh, no man is an island, as it has been said. And no community is an island, although there may be some communities that live on islands. Uh, we are very much uh, interdependent, uh, or should be, um, certainly can be, we can choose to be, um, each individual and f individuals within a individual family can be uh, strong, they can be educated, they can be uh, prosperous, they can be industrious, they can be um, uh, you know, contributing to their family core as well as the local community, friends, neighbors, um, you know, and then, you know, just whatever else is going on locally. Uh, but then that whole, you know, thing that's going on there locally comprised of many families uh, always and, and at the same time have an eye to the next community uh, down the road or uh, in the other valley um, because no matter how prepared one may be or how prepared a community may be, things have been known to happen. Things can happen from, from hurricanes to, uh, to floods to uh, mudslides to ice storms to uh, power outages. You have uh, some communities having... Um, what do they call those, the um, nuclear uh, power plants, um, you know, dams can break. Anything can happen that can take an otherwise responsible unit, individual, family, community, and totally uh, deplete their stores or wipe out their stores in the case of a flood or some such like that. You have stores of things to uh, because you've responsibly prepared for, you know, a, a, a certainly a range of things, but um, no flood comes and there goes your house swept down the stream and all your stores and that of your friends and neighbors who too have been uh, working with you and uh, being responsible and preparing and uh, not only to provide for themselves in case of calamity but to provide for neighbors in, in case of calamity but then again here comes this this flood maybe it was uh, you know a, a, a dam breaking or, or what have you and, um, and all the stores are gone well what are you going Going to do? Where are you going to live until such time as things dry out and things get repaired and and uh, so on and so forth? Um, well, that's what the <laughs> community in the next valley is for, or perhaps uh, on the top of the hill. Um, in the case of a flood, you get the picture. Anyway, so um, that's what this is about. All of us uh, becoming better at what we do, more rounded, uh, more capable of standing on our own, being responsible, uh, but then choosing uh, to uh, congregate with others uh, to uh, encourage them to do the same thing. So that, again, the individual, the family, the the, uh, the immediate family, the extended family, the neighbors, the townsfolks, the, 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 
the, the town, the city, the, the the county is just stronger, stronger, stronger by everybody getting this, uh, doing this and getting and, and, and sharing it with others, getting the word out. So anyway, uh, my typing results for the day, uh, still top speed, words per minute, 55 overall, um, probably a one-time occurrence. Um, average speed, 41 with today's uh, speed in words per minute, all of which, all of those numbers mean words per minute. Uh, today's uh, words per minute total or uh, speed is uh, average speed, 43. Boy, that took forever to get out. Okay, anyway, so that's enough. That's enough. Um, we look forward to the next time that we can spend time together, and hopefully that will be as soon as tomorrow, but... Uh, if not, then hopefully sooner than later, but in either case, until then, uh, please do take care and do me a favor and have a 